Hey everybody, welcome to a very special episode of the NPC Power Hour. We are the Nintendo Power Couple, I'm Danny. And I'm Felia, and we are so excited today because Nintendo actually invited us to an exclusive event to be two of the first people in the world to check out Nintendo Labo. And when we first saw the reveal trailer for Labo, we were so excited because as two kids at yeah. hearts, we were like, we have to have this. <laughs> we even made custom cardboard yeah tie accessories and dress up for the event today. We had to dress up for the occasion. Yeah, go all out. <laughs> go all out. So we took the train into New York City. The event was a few hours and we just got home not too long ago. Uh, we actually just got done filming our discussion video with Andre and Ash of Game Explain. It was our first time on Game Explain. We had so much fun yeah. and uh, make sure you guys check that out, please. The that, link is going to be in the description, so make sure to watch that. In the that. description <laughs> below. So it's after midnight right now, we are, I think, still a little wired from all the excitement. Yes. And um, and we want to tell you guys about yes. everything that we discovered today. So we wanted to first start with the top five most surprising thing we found out about Labo. Number five. So first off, we were really impressed with the build interface. With a mixture of text and video instructions, it actually makes it very easy for you to go through Step A to step B to figure out how to build your toy con. Number, Number four. As a tall person, I was really excited to see that the robot toy con can be adjusted based on your height. So that means that kids and adults of all ages and sizes can dress up as a fighting robot and enjoy Labo. Number three. So another happy surprise for us was the inclusion of co-op. So you can actually use multiple Joy-Con to play together on one Switch in RC mode to battle it out. Number two. Another cool surprise for us is that the RC Toy-Con utilizes the Joy-Con's IR camera as a night vision camera and a heat sensitive yeah. camera. So basically it tracks your body heat like the Predator. Number one. So by far the most surprising thing of the night was the reveal of Labo Garage. And in this, you can essentially program your Joy-Con to interact with each other and communicate with each other, which essentially allows you to create your own Toy-Con. Yeah, it looked really cool, but we weren't allowed to film any of it, so we have no cutaways for you guys, but take our word for it, it's gonna be awesome. So that is our top five of our most surprising things we learned about Labo. So immediately, as soon as we got to the event, we noticed it was all decked out with Labo. They had everybody dressed in lab coats and glasses. They went full on with the whole entire lab aesthetic and even the middle room that we ended up building in was set up kind of like a classroom with markers and crayons and yeah. snacks. Which even out in I the love. hallway, <laughs> they actually had cubbies for us to put our coats in. Yes, yes, we had <laughs> cubbies. So, and we made these name tags. So yes. we, have, we have custom Labo name tags that we got mm -hmm. made um, at the event. So the whole entire feel, I would say, kind of had that like elementary school being a kid again feel to it that I really haven't felt in a long time. It was yeah. like, really nice to kind of like... Which goes perfectly hand in hand with the whole cardboard aesthetic yeah. of Labo because instantly once you start playing with the cardboard and putting things together, and especially in this setting, <laughs> you just instantly feel that like wonder of childhood all over again. Yeah, I definitely did too. Um, we started the event with building the RC toy con, which was the one you guys saw in the trailer. They were like the little robotic looking, um, little creatures that would like vibrate and move yeah. around towards each he other. Has, like, like little legs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and what they did was they divided us up into teams. We were at different tables and stations. So it was me, Philia, and Audrey, who she runs a uh, lifestyle blog. Yeah. Uh, we can link that in we'll the description below. I'll uh, go check that out. She was our teammate. The three Super of us got nice. the build. Oh, she was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> and we all work together, and it's really great because on the Switch, it has all the instructions. Um, and it goes through both in text and in video, and you can actually fast forward and rewind, which comes in super handy. In, in different speeds, depending yeah. on where on the fast forward and rewind, depending on how much you slide over to in the in the arrow for fast forward and rewind, it'll speed up or slow down. So if yeah. you want to slowly go through the directions, or you want to speed up and try to get through like ones that you already kind of can figure out. But once you, can you do get that. to the more complicated. Joy-Con, it is super helpful to have that little rewind button and the speed button because yeah. you will have to go back and figure out where the little 
um, latches go in and everything. They came in really handy. Yeah, I was even saying at the event that I don't envy the person who had to figure <laughs> these out, like who had to design these from beginning to yeah. end, because they were, they've got, and especially because we, the second one we did was the fishing rod, and they get really complicated, like insanely complicated. Um, I don't know how they, I don't know how Nintendo did it, Yeah. but uh, you definitely, what you were saying, I agree with, you have to kind of go back sometimes on the directions, and what's cool is they will show you on the interface, on the switch screen, um, what you're currently building. You can actually use your fingers and move the cardboard model in-game around and decide zoom in, zoom out, and move it around to try to see, so you can get, look at it from a different angle, so if you can't see what they're trying to show you to do, just rotate it. Zoom, zoom out, whatever you want to do, and yeah. it, it worked perfectly. Like that, really, that that helped us a lot sometimes. Yeah, it definitely we were like, did. is this thing supposed? To, is this tab supposed to be in yet? You look at the model, you turn it. Oh no, the, the, the tab's still out on the yeah. model too. It was really helpful. And it's really great because we, like we said, we started with the RC car, and that one was a little bit, I would say, simpler. It was yeah. still, you know, challenging, but it was the simpler <laughs> one out of the other ones. Yeah. Um, so we started with the RC car and they give you like these um, plates, these cardboard uh, pieces, well, pieces. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what the official name is. <laughs> and they have all the preparations for the pieces that you have to punch out. Um, Which come out nice and clean. I was yeah. surprised. I thought that when you would punch the cardboard out, you, you would, um, it would possibly rip or, or break or if it was fragile. Even the small thin pieces yeah. pop right out. They're very sturdy. And there's no, the, the edges are very clean, so it's not like when you're popping a cardboard out of something else where like there's little tiny marks where like it was stuck together into the larger yeah. scale. It, it just kind of was like laser cut, it falls right out when you punch it out or, and you're good to go. Or even again with the quality that you just yeah. mentioned right there, the quality of the cardboard, we know a lot of you were a little concerned about it's cardboard, is it going to hold <laughs> up? From what we saw, we really are impressed with the cardboard. Yes. Like it comes out very easily with the preparations like you were saying. And also when you're folding the pieces, it folds really well on the folds that they tell you to fold, but the rest of it is really sturdy. Yeah. Like at some point you have to like fit in pieces like later on when we did um, a demo of the fishing rod there's a lot of intricate pieces you have to like fit into each other and connect pieces together and they all fit really well and even though you got to like push things in <laughs> nothing like crumbled like you know you no. would think like a cardboard box would have those weird folds that happen when you're working with cardboard but nothing crazy like that happened it worked really smoothly yeah it did um, so we did the RC toy con yeah. uh, Philia built that with Audrey and they wanted us to design it and, and go all out with customizing. My favorite part. And Philly <laughs> did. You ran over there. The middle table, it wasn't the customized kit that Nintendo was selling with uh, as yeah. an accessory. It was just, um, a, they might have been included in there. There was so much. There were, there were a lot of kids around and there were so many different arts and crafts. There was like the pipe cleaners they had, feathers, stickers, tape, markers. So Which is great because they encourage you to customize however use your imagination <laughs> and then customize it however with whatever you have in your house yeah. bring out the macaroni and, and <laughs> yeah. glue it on there yeah. like it all goes and it's all so much fun like I was grabbing like the little what do you call them the pipe cleaners yeah. and I made little ears for our guy we made our little did we name him I forget if we named him well I not. put NPC on him so <laughs> he was like the NPC toy con but a little monster I don't know we'll call him Mario. I there don't know. You know. <laughs> um, now what we what was really cool, there's a couple new things that if you guys saw our top five, you'll kinda know where we're going with this. There was a couple cool new things we noticed about the uh, RC uh, Toy Con. And one of them was that the uh, that the um, IR camera in the in the uh, Joy Con that's inside the the yeah. Toy Con. I keep saying Joy Con and Toy Con. <laughs> um, Joy Cons are the pieces. Yeah, it's a, Toy Con is what you make. It's very like confusing a, to keep yes. talking in a conversation about it. Um, but what we found was that the camera is used to be both a night vision camera, so when you're holding your switch, you can kind of see what your robot is seeing. Yeah. And you can also turn it into a heat uh, vision camera, kind of like the Predator, <laughs> where it can pick up your body heat. And what we saw in the demo, what they showed was that they had one of the boys that was there wave his hand in front of the um, camera, yeah. and they had, you could set the joy, the, the, uh, the toy con, <laughs> you could set the toy con to be in automatic mode, and what it does is when it picks up the body heat, it turns and starts moving towards the body heat. Yeah. Which was really new, Very I didn't cool. think that was, you know, I think that, Even that was Even an option, thing. yeah. 
and they also had these little white circles I forget what they call them right yeah. now but they were like little reflectors I believe that um, the Joy-Con you're confusing I me know. now <laughs> <laughs> that the Joy-Con can actually pick up um, so what you can do and they showed us the demo of this you can actually have your Toy-Con RC car follow that dot so what we thought would be really interesting and really again Nintendo's laying out this platform where everyone can be so creative with you can actually take those and like make a track out of it and have your RC car follow along that track like yeah. imagine having two players and you make tracks and then race each other like how fun would that be well I just speaking of two players that was another thing that we thought about on the train ride in and we were pleasantly surprised that RC Toy-Con does have a co-op mode there is a battle mode in included um, that you need one switch console but you will need multiple Joy-Con you'll need two sets so that each of the uh, RC units does have its own pair of uh, uh, yeah. yeah, Joy-Con in it. <laughs> More reason for us to get some flexibles. <laughs> um, what was great was that when you buy the variety kit, the cardboard pieces that are included for the RC Toy-Con do have two of uh, the robots yeah. included into it. So you don't have to buy an extra kit, but you do need extra Joy-Con. Yeah. However, it's one switch, you hold it like we were holding yep. like this, and on this, on vertically on the screen for, you'd see the, the um, colors of the, of the Joy-Con so correspond to your robot. Your Joy-Con would be hooked into the Toy-Con that you made. <laughs> They're hooked into the side, say in the RC car. So your Joy-Con would be in your RC car as you put them on the table and then you take your Switch and hold it um, sideways to each other and each side there's actually on your display the controls on there and with those controls you actually control your Joy-Con, your Toy-Con to move and have them battle each other and it uses the HD rumble to actually move the creatures on the table. It vibrates this and they could turn and they could go straight and it was really And the cool. funny thing is when someone is able to knock the other one's RC car over, your display on your side will explode. Yes, it's really fun. <laughs> there's there's <laughs> actually a little bell, like a little like a uh, boxing bell yeah. that you could ring to start your match. And then once you guys fight each other, I guess the the camera will sense when the when the toy con Tips falls over. on its back, and as soon as it does that, boom. <laughs> so it's a cool like little battle mode. It'll be fun to see like battle bots. It'll yeah. be um, cool to see like. What creations people have for their uh, little 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 monsters? Yeah. Oh, they look like monsters, I would say. The RC <laughs> totally monsters. Totally customizable. And um, kind of see how they go head to head. We went on to the fishing rod next, and that was so much fun. Imagine if the <laughs> RC car was like a hundred percent difficult to make, then this uh, fishing rod was like a thousand percent <laughs> difficult. It was way more complicated there was like math. five i know i don't know what i'm talking about it's late and we're shooting this because yes. we want to tell you guys about this we're so excited <laughs> i can't even think of words so there was like five or so of the cardboard sets and in each one of these sets had like tons of pieces and we all you know both of us and audrey we all worked together to like put them all together at the same time a lot of they actually told us that it usually takes about an hour to put just the fishing rod together it if was so we only had an hour they said most people in the first set that was at the event yeah. didn't do it I think only one person got it done within the hour everybody else was still behind but it was crazy we got it done yeah. <laughs> Yes, we were. We got it done with time to customize. We speed ran that thing. <laughs> so we, um, the fishing rod was cool. They show you each each step along the way. It, it was broken into five main steps, and it would walk you through like creating the rod, creating the reel, creating the dock. Like each yeah. big asset of the of the um, toy con was represented in a larger scope, and then within those five big steps were all the mini steps that you could slowly go through, learn how to put them together. Well, they, they really did in the instructions. They broke it down really well yeah. for an adult gamer and even for a younger player. Um, both because there is the written instructions and the video instructions. So if you have like kids and you're working on this together, they can just watch the video and figure it out, really. They yeah. don't have to know like exactly what the words are saying. Um, but it was great because they really broke it down. There was actually three parts to... Um, 
to the uh, fishing rod and where they you saw put the it trail together. And extend it. Uh, yeah, and and it was Baby Bear, Mama Bear, <laughs> and Papa Bear. That's and the you, references. And you had to work on each piece separately, and then they showed you how to connect them all together. Which was which was my favorite part of that was connecting the different pieces of the rod together because when you put the pieces in yeah. and, and you get the rod and when you go to extend it again, it actually, the cardboard pieces, the tabs that you set up, lock in. So you actually can't just pop it apart. Like yeah. it actually has the sturdiness to it that I was really impressed because that was, as we said again, yeah. worry about the sturdiness of just, you know, they say cardboard. So you think like this thing's gonna fall apart. This, as we were building it, and, and the more tabs we were putting in, and the more pieces that you're piling on each other, and, and folding over and, and sticking into the tab and pushing yeah. this in here, it actually got sturdier and sturdier to the point where the rod, when we were done with it, was incredible. Absolutely, like, yeah. And we, oh, we could tell them about the musical note. Musical the note. Musical note. <laughs> we're very excited about this. <laughs> <laughs> Which is crazy. <laughs> so go ahead. Oh yeah. <laughs> we're both very excited, but we both don't want to talk. <laughs> no, let's talk about it. We, they were, <laughs> we're very tired. They, um, there was a little piece, a uh, little cardboard towel with a music note on it. As we were building the fishing rod, everybody was excited to see what happens when you use the music note. Yeah. So when we got to the point, you, there's a little slot that you would insert the music note cardboard piece in. And a it's small little piece. Small thin little piece. What does it do? And it goes in near where the um, reel is. And what happens is, is that I guess the cardboard on the inside touches a piece of the tab from when you built the fishing reel. So as you're reeling back, reeling the line in, it's hitting, it's spinning and hitting the music note, making that clicking sound. So it sounds and feels like you're actually reeling yeah. in a fishing rod. And it gives you that kind of real life feel. Yeah. Like, you know, t -t 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 like it was really, <laughs> that, that was a horrible impression of a fishing rod. but. That's what it really felt like. It's really, really great because you build up this thing in small pieces and then you see it starting to come together. And then when you finally are able to move the reel, I guess yeah. you call it, <laughs> and you hear that sound and you feel the like little tension from it, it makes it feel that much more realistic. Yeah. And then the, the last um, finishing touches it's like you put your um, Joy-Con in at the base of your fishing rod and then there's actually like um, a little piece of, it's not twine, but uh, rope, yeah, something string. like string that connects from your, um, your fishing line that goes down into your dock. And once you connect that, because there's a whole pulley system in there <laughs> that makes it feel like it's weighted to and once you're actually like rolling this thing, hearing the sound, feeling the rumble in your Joy-Con, and having the pullback from the other part that's on yeah. the floor that you just built, it's like this whole experience, like for all of your senses, it's really exciting to finally put that together. And rewarding. One thing that we really yes. felt was that that accomplishment, that you know, that just self pride yes. of like I we built need this. That. <laughs> As you're building the um, the fishing rod, it was very complicated. But every time you got a piece that worked, or you built it, and you would, and they would snap together, it was nice to kind of step back and say, "This is nice. Yeah. I feel this is very rewarding." We actually at one point forgot that there was a game involved because <laughs> we were so excited to build the thing that when we were done with the fishing rod, yeah. we were told, oh, you can actually go fishing now. We were like, really? Like that? Oh, that's right. There's a game in Labo. It's not and just a fishing rod. And you're working with the interface on the actual Switch. And it's very playful. The instructions are very playful. So like once you finish building a piece, it plays this little animation of like <laughs> clicking it all together so you feel like yeah I got that accomplished so yeah. even doing that part is really fun and challenges you your mind and your your motor skills and your creativity so <coughs> you're really getting to enjoy it on so many levels even before you start playing the actual game yeah absolutely um, so the next thing we did after we built which we they talked about the three pillars it's build and it's discover. Make, and, oh yeah, make, play, and discover. I got it wrong. <laughs> make, play, discover. So we made, which was what we built, yes. and it was time to discover. And that's what we did. And we played and discovered by going to the next room where they had all of the toy cons set up, all the ones that um, that they, in both sets, the variety set and the robot set. And of course we started with robot, which was so much fun. And I was so glad to see and, and know that you could, as a tall person, wear it. <laughs> I was worried that it'd be just for children, but nope, the arms and the legs are all by string that you could adjust the length for, and they're weighted in the backpack, so when you're punching, 
with it, you extend as far as the string can go, and you can feel the weight of the when you're out, so that as you're going back, it's pulled and, re and, and retracting the string right back into the it's backpack. It's very impressive, yeah. The backpack straps, everything is, even the things on your feet, everything is weighted in the back, in the um, in the backpack, and everything is kind of customizable to your size. So yeah. it was brilliant. And as you're playing the game, the, the demo that we played has us being robots, these huge so robots. And actually, when you're punching, because you're feeling the weight in your backpack, you actually feel the weight of the punch, if that makes sense. <laughs> um, and when you're stomping as the robot, it's actually moving the weight in the backpack that's on your back. So again, yeah. you feel like this huge, like larger-than-life robot, and you get to really feel like you're in it. And to <laughs> go along with feeling like you're in it, Oh my gosh, the like visor that's on your head. So there's a second part that goes on your head and then you can actually pull down the visor and it goes into first person view, which is totally crazy. It's the closest thing to VR Nintendo is doing right now. Yeah. And it has, I guess I guess there was a Joy-Con inside the headset and when it goes down, it, mm -hmm. it, it tells the difference between where it's facing so like this, it snaps into first person's perspective. You're looking through the visor at the TV screen. You're in first person on, on the thing. As it you feels walk, like VR, which is it really does. crazy. It, it, it's just, is that a cardboard frame that you're looking through? But as you're, as you're walking, you have to walk by stopping. So if you lift your foot and put it down, your robot walks forward. You, you tilt your head to aim the direction where you want to walk, and you can punch and knock everything down. You can actually crouch down and turn into like this vehicle version of your robot. It's like Transformers. Yes, it, it, that's, that's exactly what it felt like. And, what and while learned. you're down there, you can punch while you're, are you talking about the extra special thing that you can do? When you're, in, when you're standing up, if you put your arms at your side like this, you take off and you fly. So as, you're, as your robot, you're flying like this, you could turn and turn and aim and you're soaring above all your buildings. And then if you want to do some damage from above, Flick back and start punching some buildings to the top as you fall down to the ground. And it was really a yeah. really fun game. We spent most of our time playing that yes. game. Um, I tell you, you get a little bit of a workout too because yeah. your arms are going and you're stomping, but it's so much fun. Yeah, I could totally see this being a huge hit, um, definitely for sure, because I mean, who doesn't want to be a robot? Come on. <laughs> and we were also told that um, what we experienced in the game is definitely not what there's gonna be so much more yeah. involved than what we saw uh, we they were, were told. basically telling us like we because of time restraints we didn't get to play like a whole lot because we were trying that out and then we tried the everything else the, everything else yeah so um, our Nintendo Labo assistant that was there helping us out told us that there Derek. Was, Yes, Derek. Yes, awesome Shout out to Derek. Derek. He was awesome. Thank you so much for showing us all this stuff. We had so much fun. Um, and he was saying to us that basically there's a lot more to discover in this game. So we're excited to play it. Yeah, and then we, we went from there and we walked around to try out everything else. We didn't have as much time with everything else as uh, with we robots. Because we spent so much time playing the robots. Being robots. <laughs> um, we went over and did, uh, as we talked about before, fishing, which felt like actual fishing. Yeah. Um, when you, you, they had us just sitting in a chair, holding <laughs> the fishing reel, and out far in front of you was where your um, Switch console was vertically in the dock, right above where the um, string would be. Yeah. And you, in the game itself, it's a vertical game, and it's your line slowly falling down in an ocean with fish around. And you could keep, you know, letting your line out more to let it sink the more. The lower you go, the harder it yeah. is to catch the fish, and the bigger and scarier fish there are. Like feel so like shark. The you. lower you go, I went all the way to the bottom, and there was actually a shark like circling. I was trying to get him, but it didn't happen. What's it was really, really tough. Well, what's really crazy about it is that it actually, you actually feel it when it bites on the line. And kind of yeah. like when we talked about it, it's like Animal Crossing. It's like real life Animal Crossing, which I guess is real life fishing. Yes. <laughs> but what it is, is the line, when you're playing the game and you see the fish going near your, your line, as soon as it bites or it nibbles, you'll feel it on the, with the, um, I guess yeah. with the, with the um, rumble. Like yeah. you actually feel it and you have to pull back on the line and start reeling. And as soon as you do, 
If you did it at the right time, you'll nab the fish and start bringing them up, but you gotta be but careful. But if you're getting the fish all the way at the bottom, you have to pull him all the way up, and you gotta be careful because at any point he could try to run away. And so break your line in the game. So you gotta keep you gotta keep paying attention to making sure your line is fine in the game and slowly get your fish back up. And as you're using um, the fishing rod, you feel pullback on it. So it's really interesting. I guess between the um, Joy-Con, the HD rumble I feature, so, yeah. and then the actual mechanism that you would have created yourself. With the clicking sound and everything. And yeah. It made you feel like we were actually fishing while we were inside just the studio place which, in New York City. Which is what we were really impressed with. The fact that all of these games that we played really interacted well with the physical things that you're building. The physical Joy-Con. Toy cons. Really immersive. Very immersive yeah. between the two things. Um, we ran over really quickly to play uh, the piano, mm -hmm. which was a beautiful, beautiful creation. Yeah. That was really nice. We didn't get much time with it, and I can't play the piano. Neither can I, so it was sort of like, kind of maybe a waste on me because it was horrible, <laughs> but I did enjoy that you can actually change the sounds that your piano is making yeah. by changing a physical knob that goes in the top of the piano. So you, there one was of the three, ones, right? There were three knobs, three three cardboard yeah. knobs to choose from. My favorite was the cat. Yeah. <laughs> you can actually put in one, and then all the buttons, all Our the meows. yeah, all the keys <laughs> turn into meows. It's really fun. And mine was there was one was like some guy that was singing, like it was like a male, like, <laughs> and you could that was, was singing. That was well, that's what it sounded like. And yeah. What was some of the cool things we noticed with the piano was that the knob, if you turn the knob, you could actually change the pitch. Yeah. And you could There's also, a knob on the side. There's a there lever too. Turn it, yeah. So there's so between the two different things, you could adjust the, the, the sound of the pitch and the speed. Like there was, you could adjust how the sounds are coming out of the piano keys. So someone who already knows how to play a piano would probably have a lot of fun with it. And also as a tool to like teach kids, we can see this being yeah. really fun. I mean, once you know, I'm sure people who know music out there, help us out guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you know what you're hearing, you could easily teach your kids how to play like simpler songs on this thing. Like I really wish I knew how to play a piano because it would be so <laughs> much fun. Maybe that's how I'll learn. <laughs> well, I'm sure that you're going to see a lot of videos on YouTube of people doing awesome covers of different music. Oh, yeah. It's going to be really cool to see what people come up with with this one, especially with yes. cat sound effects. Yes. Let's uh, make that happen. <laughs> so we went over to the next one, which I got to try. You didn't get to try, sadly. Yeah, but the time was running out. We were we trying to try out everything just to get coverage for you guys and tell you guys what it was like. So Danny got to try out the motorbike one, the motocross, which to me, yeah. I was I was telling Andre, we were talking during games playing with Andre and Ash, it felt like Mario Kart, which is really crazy. It felt I'm like so jealous I didn't get to try this. What it is, is it, it, it presses against your chest, the, the bottom of the toy con, and yeah. you, so, so you could kind of hold on to you, like pulling against your chest, holding on to the handlebars, and it actually has the right handlebar, you turn like this to actually accelerate, and there's a little brake above where your finger would go, so as you could accelerate and push the brake. There was another button that I believe the, uh, the rep had said that makes like a, like you scream, like your character make, like makes a noise so that if somebody's close to you, you could try to like distract them and like get them off the road. How fun was, is that? Which was cool, but... <laughs> Real road rage but in games? <laughs> the game looked like a type of like Mario Kart on motorcycles type of thing, uh, because it played like Mario Kart where if you go behind another player, another racer, for enough time, you get that boost where you just all of a sudden fly past them, which everybody plays Mario Kart in Deluxe and knows exactly what we're yeah. talking about. And it had um, cool drifting. The, uh, the rep had told me that when you go take corners, you could actually like like break around a corner and then accelerate around the same corner to get a boost. Like you could actually try to you know actually have some yeah. skill involved to it, which I which I really cannot wait to see what they which do with Which is again it. a way that they make these games feel really immersive. Yeah, I really felt like I was in the game. You're watching. You're, it's right on the um, I guess where the horn would be. I think that's where the that's where the screen was. So you're like you're, you're steering but watching the screen and it felt amazing. Like I, I like to think it was, I would play Mario Kart like this. Yeah. Like this would be a cool Mario Kart game and you really felt like you were in it. Yeah. So. I'm so jealous you got to try that and I didn't get to try that. So what was Time another one out. we tried out? We tried out House. The last one we got to try out was the House. Now this one was really interesting because yeah. it's like you 
probably saw in the trailer, it's shaped like a house and it has the um, switch actually in it. Yeah. And then what's really cool is like there's on both sides you can put in these knobs and, and the bottom and the learn. bottom too and each knob does something new and different to your characters that are in the game so in the house the character is like in the game in the game the, <laughs> <laughs> the characters in the house hanging out and doing his thing and then you can put in the knob and like turn the light switch on and off or you can put in another knob and it like switches to another game. A mini game. So it takes your um, character that was in the house and put him in the mini game. And the one we tried out was um, kind of like Donkey Kong minecart racing. Yeah. Uh, and um, the little character goes through the minecart and uh, you actually bop the side of the buttons and it makes it one side you turn forward and backward. To, to propel the character forward. It starts them up, yeah. And then the other side, you like bop in and out to make them jump, and which is really fun. And you're jumping over um, the different obstacles and you're collecting things. Diamonds. Diamonds. <laughs> and what we noticed, which we didn't get a chance to explore sadly, but when, you, when you're when you done with the game and you go back to the house part of the uh, screen, it drops like prizes with your little monster character. And it was uh, food, like an acorn and something else. And the rep had said, you could slide with your finger the acorn over to the monster guy and he'll eat I it. And it. he did, but that's as far as we got. And what we're speculating, we're wondering if it's going to be kind of like um, one of those like virtual pet type of things. See, that's what it seemed like. Like they were in a little little habitat. You could interact with them, feed them, and stuff. So I wonder if that's where they're going to go. I really want to see this somehow come into play in Animal Crossing. <laughs> somehow make it happen. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Um, so that was, sadly, that was as much time as we had um, with all the different, uh, the variety of Toy-Con. They had, which what we thought was really cool, was a nice display case that had all of the Toy-Con on display, which we were talking about as being a nice yeah. way for uh, storage. Um, I know a lot of people said about storage being an issue, and we, as collectors, clearly love putting stuff on shelves. And I'll tell you, these things actually look nice set up on display. The, yeah. The, the piano. We will say, for those of you who were concerned about whether you can collapse them and easily store them, um, it is really intricate to put these yes. pieces together, so it might be kind of hard to, to collapse it. Um, it can be done without ruining the product, um, but it's we not the easiest it. thing to do yeah. because there's a lot of pieces that go together. But like you were saying, um, even though you might not be able to just like easily squash it down and shove it in your closet, they look really great on the shelf. Like between the sturdiness of the cardboard, um, the colors are really nice and colorful. They very been... sleek design and very appealing. So we finished up with um, back there at the, at the back room. We were brought out for one more surprise reveal uh, that we weren't allowed to film, so we have no cutaways for you guys for this. But we can talk about it, and that is Labo Garage. Now, Labo Garage is something that you guys saw in the trailer, but you weren't really aware of what you were seeing. And that is the moment when they have the stick figure cardboard guy wow. fall down, and then you have the hand that was, you know, drawing the lines yeah, from one box to the pieces. other. And it was confusing. We didn't know what it was when we first saw it. and. We got to talk about. We got to see it today in yeah. action. Yeah. Um, What's really cool is it's basically a playground with like unlimited possibilities. So what you can do in Level Garage is actually program your Joy-Con to communicate with each other and talk to each other. Um, and create responses. So the one example that they did, the simple one, was they programmed, and we can with Labo program the um, one Joy-Con so when you press a button, it makes the other Joy-Con rumble. Yeah. Um, so that was a simple example. And then they brought out the big guns and showed us a bigger example with the, um, the Motor motocross, yeah. <laughs> the motocross um, toy con. So they connected the joy cons that are in the motocross toy cons to the joy cons that are in the RC car. So when you actually hold your motocross um, 
Toy-Con, you can control your RC car with that as the controller. And it Crazy. worked. Crazy. It worked. Yeah. Um, the, the rep, Instant response, too. The rep that was, that was walking doing it was, I mean, as she's turning like this, the little RC guy is turning, turning. and moving forward as, as she's revving up. And, yeah. And it, what it essentially looked like was a way that um, they went through it really quickly, but when you select what you want your Joy-Cons to do, there, was, there were drop down menus and you could make them do different things and you would draw lines between each thing so it's like if I do this, this happens, if this happens, this happens and you could kind of... like coding, yeah. Yeah, and you could kind of create your own um, toy con yourself which we're really excited to see what everybody comes up with, what you guys at home come up with I'm sure there's going to be crazy things that yeah. people decide to do with these and I think this is one of those things that if you have multiple Joy-Con, this is going to be for you because I think you'll be able to link up as we just said with the motocross and the yeah. RC car, you'll be able to link up multiple Joy-Con with each other and really create some cool, cool Labo Toy-Con yeah. creations of your own. We were actually, when we were talking with Andre and Ash from Gaming Slain earlier, we were actually joking about hype trains and talking about <laughs> creating a Toy-Con train. And if you have multiple um, Joy-Con communicating with each other, why not? You might be able Labo to make Garage it. can make that happen. Make the the Labo Train Toy Con yeah. move forward. Why not? <laughs> we joke that Labo Garage, thanks to Labo Garage, we're never gonna throw in any cardboard ever again. <laughs> Anytime we get a pizza box or every time we get whatever it is, a cardboard at a box. Amazon. Box. Yeah, we're gonna say to ourselves, wait a second, that that could be a Joy Con yeah. Toy Con thing. Let's, let's keep that and let's build it. Let's this looks like Let's something. Let's make it into something. Yeah, this speaks to me. We'll go a whole third. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Close encounter to the third kind on our stuff. Yeah, so that's oh my gosh. Work. Um, but it was really, really cool. And that was sadly the end of the event. It was yes. a couple hours long. We were nonstop having fun. But we did not leave empty handed thanks to Nintendo. They never disappoint. They <laughs> always send you home with goodies. So we started with our. Labo bottles that we got to drink our water out of the whole time. I and customized mine and put my name on Billy it. Got her name on it. Like our, like our uh, name tags, we yep. got to also customize NPC. those and put our names on them. <laughs> and for completing, we got official certificates of completion for... We graduated! We graduated, guys! <laughs> this is going into our diplomas on the wall. So yeah, we should we should frame we these are totally and put them these. next to our uh, college degrees. She, uh, she's laughing, but that's We're happening. We're going to do it. <laughs> um, so we had just a blast. Thank you so much to Nintendo of America for inviting us. This totally made our day. This was amazing. Thank you. It was so good to see so much, so many familiar faces of Nintendo. It was nice to see old friends. Yes. I mean, it was it was such a nice event today. Absolutely. We had a blast. We were excited when we saw that Labo trailer, but to actually go, go there and get to try everything out, our expectations was completely blown out of the water, and we think you guys are going to absolutely love it once you get your hands on it. Yeah, so Labo does come out on April 20th yes. of this year, and and we highly recommend you pre-order it and pick it up today because it is going to be a huge hit with families, uh, children, yes, and sure. kids at heart. <laughs> so make sure you guys check out um, the Labo trailer again to kind of get caught up the speed of some of the awesomeness and go buy Labo today. You won't regret it. So don't forget, if you guys have any other questions about Labo that we haven't already gone over, be sure to tell us in the comments. Yeah. We love chatting with you guys. And if we have any more information that we can remember to give you, <laughs> we will be happy to share it with you. So be sure to talk to us down there. Yes. <laughs> so now that we've gone over everything Labo, I think it's time to get cozy, <laughs> get in our onesies for some fuzzies in our onesies in this week's Let's Play. Hey, hey everybody! everybody. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Let's Play um, Funsies in Our Onesies. <laughs> uh, <laughs> today we are playing Overcooked. Uh, Overcooked is courtesy of uh, Team Seventeen. So thank you guys so much. Um, it's a game we've been dying to play for a while yes, now. Yes, and we love Team Seventeen. We actually love their games for a long time, so yeah. we were really glad that they sent us this to try out. We're really excited to try it. They also sent us Ukulele and um, Worms, one of our favorites from yes. uh, previous Worms titles. Back in the day. That's what we used to play <laughs> all the time. So those will be featured in future Let's Plays, but for now, what do you say we jump into Overcooked? Let's get cooking! Let's get cooking. 
Uh, so let's see. The main menu. So this is, we're be playing on our, um, we started the single player campaign. So we're gonna be kind of continuing from that and play a few levels. Yeah. There is versus mode and a couple mm. of the uh, DLCs, but let's see if we can unlock Hashtag some characters. Hashtag Team NPCphilia. <laughs> I'm starting it all over again. <laughs> <laughs> So the, so the instructions are simple. A is grabs things, X does actions, and I believe B helps you kind of run fast. So, so you, you can get rush a around. Scoot. Yeah. So if you guys don't know, this game you are running a kitchen and you have to cook recipes, follow the recipe guide, and serving it and kind of like washing dishes. And, and things get crazy. Yeah, things Very get quickly. really, really crazy. So we're going to be cooking together right now. Yes. So let's see what level 1 4 has let's to offer. Let's do some teamwork. Yes, teamwork time. You got some characters to choose from. I like the cat. He I'm, looks so angry. <laughs> I'm going with the guy with glasses. <laughs> um, I'm going with the cat. You have to go with the cat. Yeah. So we will be also featuring this in future Let's Plays with four-player mode, but for now we're going to be doing yeah. the two-player mode. So far we've really been liking it as like multiplayer for like couples. Yeah. This would be such a cute game for you yeah. to play at night when you're relaxing together. Okay, how to make a burger. So, Basic burger. So we have to cook the meat and put it on the buns, and I guess that's it? Okay. I feel like the other ones were harder, but I feel like this is gonna get crazy, so right? I'm gonna start chopping my meat down Wait, in the corner. Wait, you have stuff there? What's going on here? <laughs> so, I got, so I'm gonna cook the meat. I think that's, yes, so it's cooking right now. Um, I'm gonna Did grab- I chop it? Okay. I'm gonna grab my buns. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna prep my buns on the plate. Get out of here. So as you can see, like it could get really hectic. Um, yeah, I was about to steal it. I'm gonna, I'll complete the first one. Okay, um, I'm gonna get a second one. Oh, look, the other ones need lettuce. So, oops, wrong thing. Oops. So I gotta put the frying pan back. Ah! I think, is that a good burger? Six dollar tip, guys. Look, we're making, we're making <laughs> money. Oh, my thing is burning. It's burning. Can you put it on that for me, please? Yep, done. Okay, I got the tomato. I'm gonna cut the tomato. I'll go wash dishes because that's apparently what I have to do with my <laughs> life in this game. <laughs> okay, is that up? Wait, oh, six. I so got I the oop. tip. Ah! ah! Get it out of my way! <laughs> so, I got some buns down there. Okay, I'll make the meat. Okay. I'll, I'll give it a little chop, Rooney. Oop! I'll chop some lettuce. Oop. I like how, like, how they chop it. It's really cute. <laughs> Shake it back. Get that burger going. I'm gonna get a second burger going because it takes a little while. Deal, and I'm it's gonna like, work on. It's like really managing stuff, like a real restaurant. So we have two and a half minutes left um, to keep prepping and getting our stuff out there and working on those tips. So working on those tips. On those tips. <laughs> so I'm going to. Oh, what am I? Sorry, I'm not doing the right thing. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, 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 okay. Oh, I got it. I'll add it to this bun. And that's the next order that's up. Put these back. Okay. So I got tomato. I need I'll a lettuce. I'll put that guy there. Ah! I need a lettuce. I need a lettuce. Lettuce. Oh, can't put the lettuce there. Oh, the lettuce. <laughs> Come on. Come on. <laughs> I'm panicking. I'm panicking. <laughs> okay. Okay, here we go. Okay. I'm going to. That's nope, a nice looking nope, burger. Nope. Okay, and I guess. The goal we've found, we've found so far is to try to get three star rank by getting, you know, as much money as you possibly can, <laughs> which is getting, you know, the best types of um, tips. So the faster you prepare your meals at the top of the screen, you'll see the green bars are slowly counting down, which means that we are uh, on a time crunch. Yes. I feel like I'm not even helping with this commenting because I'm just too busy making this burger. Put that we, got, there. we got a couple burgers we, going. Oh, no, nope, that one's not done. <laughs> okay, here we go. Ah. Put that bucket out of the way. <laughs> okay, wait. We have, this one's done. This one can go up. We're up. Okay, so we have, oops, I'm carrying the frying pan Tomato. a little bit. You'll see that sometimes you'll, your kitchen will catch on fire. Like you will, um, oh, I can actually get this one too. Okay, here we go. Your kitchen will catch on fire, so you need a fire extinguisher if your food catches on fire. You have to throw it in the garbage, which is in the bottom left corner. So. <laughs> Sorry. Coming through. Oh, as you, as you, dishes. I'm assuming this is what a real uh, yeah. kitchen feels like. I the didn't want this worked in a kitchen before. Except I'm sure there's a lot of a lot more screaming at people. But. Well, what's really funny is if you press Y, you get the screaming. The, <laughs> the swearing symbols. Yeah. 
that's kind of my favorite. <laughs> okay, let's see. So I got uh, three lettuce buns. Done. Okay, oh, oh, oh. I got you. I got it. Get out of the way. Oh, sorry. Done. Got it. Done. Okay, serve it up. I'm gonna fry this one. These guys don't appreciate the food we're cooking for. Oh, eight minutes, eight minutes. Nothing's gonna be done in time. The Give meat's this. not done. No, that was the wrong thing. Oh, that counted against us. We were doing good. I tried to feed them the. So close. We had to get 280. We had 170. So close. So close. Actually, it didn't even count. It, it didn't even count we're as a failed terrible order. At this. So, okay. I think our cooking at home is a little less chaotic. Maybe. Just as many fires, though. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, so let's see we're going to next. up some more. Let's see where we're going to next. You can also unlock more chefs, so we're trying to unlock as many yeah. cool characters as we can. So let's see what's I want to get one. one that looks like me. You have your one that looks like you. <laughs> right now, I just have to be the angry cat. Which okay, I'm fine so with. 160 is our goal. Okay, we can do this. Focus up. Focus up, guys. <laughs> I don't know why I'm telling everybody else to focus up. We gotta focus up. I think it's time for the hood to go on. Everybody you knows from last serious. time. The hood goes on. We're serious. I think now. it made a difference last time. Okay, what are we making? Okay. Onion soup? Oh, oh, oh. Just let those out. Wait. The chopping's all the way down here. Oh my gosh. This is Run! Like crazy. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna get another onion. You just grab that. Tomato soup. Okay. I'll get the things and chop. We'll work together on this one. Got it? <laughs> Wait, <laughs> I'm trying to help you. Serve up. Oh, where's the bowl? Oh, okay, so you gotta pour nope. it to the bowl. Okay. That's good to go, actually. Oh, go, okay. go, go. I'll, I'll, I'll deliver. Run, 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 run. I'll get the tomato soup going. Run, run, okay. run. Okay, so we got mushroom. And then we have another tomato. Sorry I'm in the way. I'll get out of the way. Mm -mm. Here's a mushroom. Here's another mushroom. Yeah. Wash this dish. I'm gonna be like really strategic and line stuff up this time. Maybe that makes a difference? Maybe. So we got two mushrooms. Learning Ooh. some strategies, get out of the way. <laughs> two mushrooms and a tomato, I'll take the tomato. Okay, get the tomato. Maybe. Prepping this stuff right here, and I'll go wash the dishes. Whoop! That's a tomato. That's not the dish. We're, I'll what wash just the dish. happened I with got the, the dish? dish. I got the dish. <laughs> oh, tomato's gonna catch on fire soon. I'll get it. I'll get it. Wait, 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 wait. Is it done? No, no, it's no. Not we gotta add a tomato to it. We gotta add a tomato to it. I just took it off the stove. Oh my god, that worked! Um, ah! Here's a tomato. There we go. There we go. Look at that teamwork. Yeah. That's a, you get, that's a whole tomato. You gotta cut it. <laughs> Like chunky tomato soup. <laughs> ah! No, 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 no! Don't burn. Okay. okay, we got plates. See, you guys, we're back on track. We're back on track. So we somehow need... it doesn't feel like it, but we're back on track, I suppose. So we need mushrooms. I got it. Is somebody getting mad up there? Here. Sorry. Okay. Okay. Here. Chop, 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 chop. This game is intense. Oh, I missed it. I feel like. uh Gordon Ramsay. Oh no, 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 oh, no. It's gonna fail, it's gonna fail. No. Oh, we could do this. It's almost done. Go, 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 go. Four dollar tip. Did it work? I, I don't know. It like buzzed at the same time. It, it might have worked. We'll find it at the Get end. Get out of here, mushroom. I need a thing. Here, onion. This little dash button makes such a big difference. I think the swearing button makes a difference. <laughs> Maybe. To me, okay. it conveys exactly how I would feel if I was in the kitchen. That was just crazy. Oh, 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 oh. Sorry! Ah, failed. Sorry. Oh my gosh, that was my fault. I'm so sorry. Mm. Oh, tomato soup. I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Put it on the plate. How do you put it on the plate? Yeah, you need two more. You need more. But you, need, you need more. Oh, oh, I'm gonna be on fire. I'll get oh fire my! Sure. Oh my! Oh my God! We, Guys, we're failing this so bad. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put the fire out. Oh my gosh! What went on fire? What soup were oh we my, even making? Oh my! Oh my God! Our entire kitchen's on fire. Oh, I didn't realize. That you, I thought you had it just. Oh my God! <laughs> hey, you're getting that stuff in my other soup. No. 
I didn't realize. I thought you had to hold the button. Oh my gosh. What like, is going on here? Wow. Okay. Oh, what's this? Doesn't matter. What's this? What's put it, this? Put it back. Put it back. I'm going to put it out. It's going to be. Wait, no, no, no. If we make the tomato and put it in, oh. it'll be okay. Okay. That's the trick to it, I think. Put the tomato in and then Guys, put it on Guys, I the think stove. we. <gasps> did... I figured out a strategy. Did you get it? Did you see what I just did? No. I took it off the stove, then added to the tomatoes, mm, and then put it back on the stove. It's like real life. How bad are we? we at? Almost... Oh, no, not so bad. I think for having the kitchen yeah. catch on fire. <laughs> I'll take it. Wow. Wow. That's a success to me. <laughs> even, we... even though the kitchen was on fire at one point. What kitchen isn't, right? I, I mean, maybe. <laughs> That was crazy. <laughs> um, that was fun though. Let's see. All of our things are like two stars all the way down. We can could, we could zoom back. We could go back to an old level and try to get three stars on this one now that we kind of have our practice in. Let's okay, see. yeah. So I'm wondering if three stars unlocks a character or not. So we can try to unlock. This was a really fun one. This is crazy, This yeah. is the one that like all the people are walking through on the sidewalk. Yeah. It's crazy. For some reason, somebody built a kitchen. It's like in New York a, City. Yeah. Um, a street fair. Street fair, yeah. yeah. Let's do it. Oh, I was supposed to... Oh, you're waiting on me. Sorry. <laughs> we got this. We got we this. We got this. The hood is on. That's how you know it's serious time. <laughs> it worked last time. That's how you know it's serious time. It worked. <laughs> okay, so it's soup time again, but okay, it's less soup. Okay, time. Soup. Okay, so we need tomato soups. Okay. I'll do some chopping. I'll do some do chopping some soup. In. Get out of the way, people. That's how I actually walk through New York City. <laughs> <laughs> how else do you walk through New York City? That's the way to do it. Okay, this, this soup's almost done. Soup's up! Oop, I put it back in the stove. <laughs> it's a really busy intersection, too. To have I know, the, why uh, would they put it there? I need more onions. Onions are my least favorite food, so this is killing me right now. But you like it if you don't know it's in the food. That's how I trick him to eat onions. That's true. <laughs> He's very tricky. No! He just said, he just said <laughs> that you tricked me. I trick you with love. What other tip? Onion. And tomato. So that's the last onion. Did you just tomato. yell onion? Did you just yell onion? Onion? <laughs> oh my gosh, this is too good. I got it, I got it. Don't, don't panic, Yoshi. Actually, let me, I have to wash dishes. I don't know if anybody noticed. Every time you make the Yoshi sound, how do you do it? I can't even do it. <laughs> like... Ah, tomato soup. Okay, I'm taking it off the stove. Give it a little chopsies. Wait. Okay, so that could go. Onion soup's up. Two dollar tip. Some cheap person. I, mean, I know. Come on. We just made soup from scratch for you, and two dollars? That's it? We almost caught our kitchen on fire again. Oh, what am I doing? I have to wait for this to be done. Cooking. Oop, oop, oop. I'm just bringing ingredients over. I don't know what I'm doing. That's a good strategy, though. I am trying to... Look, chop these and chop these. Here we go. Fill it in. Whoop, I missed the pot. <laughs> okay, there One we pot's go. not even on the stove. I gotta fix that. Uh, if we don't even need it. We can't even handle two pots on the stove. <laughs> Leave it. <laughs> okay. What are we focusing on? Onions, onions right now? now? Yeah. I'll help you out with some onions. Oh, soup's up! I got it! Oh, I was gonna help you. <laughs> oh, cursing? God, yeah, you're really getting into this now. <laughs> I like this level a lot. I like that you go through the thing, the street, and like there's um, distractions and. It makes you, re it makes you think strategy. <laughs> Oh, is that Somebody's so? Somebody's gotta take care of these dishes in this place. No, you always do dishes. I'm kidding. All right, let's see. Onion time. This dash comes in super handy. I'm just leaving onions. <laughs> I'm just randomly leaving onions around. That worked. Somebody's gotta do them dishes. So <laughs> that actually. I'm that actually worked dropping the ingredients like that. Okay, I'll help you out. I'm, I'm just gonna drop. I'm, I'm gonna give you the soup. You ready? Soup's up. Yep. Soup up. 
That's our problem. We're not actually working together. We're both, we're both making the same meal at the same time. We're just trying to all be a hero right now. We all, we all want to be head chef. Yep. Somebody's got to be the sous chef. Somebody's got to be the sous chef. I'll be the lackey. I'll go get the dishes again. Soup up. Soup up. I'll, I'll grab it. Oh, you got it. Okay. Sorry. I'm lacking on my... Oh no! Onions! We need a sorry. <laughs> All right, take it easy, jeez. Oh boy, no, 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 no. Wait, take the thing off the pot. Take it off. Oh wait, I no, did. sorry, I'm, I'm doing the wrong thing. <laughs> I need those cursing symbols that come out. Did we do it? Three yeah. stars. Yeah. Crushed it. They're very uh, generous with the uh, score because that. Because it's like the third level. Oh look, he's cute. She's cute. That's gonna be, I think, one of our new characters to play the, as. I want to play as that guy. Let's both be look the, at the little thing. Like a raccoon. Yeah, that's gonna be me. You switch from cat. So no more cat. Cat's gone. Unless you wanted to be the raccoon. And can we both be a player? I don't know. Let's try it. Want to try doing level three and seeing if we could uh, get another three star? Let's unlock another character. Okay. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, this was a really good one too. I think we could. We could both be the cat. Where's the guy? I'm gonna be him. I'm gonna try, try, it. It out. try it out. We can be Timmy and Tommy. This is the Nook family cooking. Yes. I like that. So we got, we were four off. Look at that, four off. Bogus. Somebody. No, I don't know what Take happened. Yours. I don't know what happened. I'm just but, blindly blaming you. But it didn't stop her, right? Somebody. <laughs> We're Tibby and Tommy. I remember this one. Oh, he's on wheels! How cute is that? <laughs> okay, I'm just putting ingredients. I'm not even paying attention. That's not the right ingredients, I'm sorry. Oh yeah, we have... <laughs> <laughs> we need... Um, how can I help here? Okay. I'll pass you the... Uh... Sorry. I'll, I'll try to help on this side. Yeah, we need a mushroom. Here. Oh my gosh, this is the craziness. <laughs> Wait, what are we doing? What's going on? Okay, that soup, you could give the soup. This one? Yep, put it here, I'll take it. Okay, got it. Done. I need an onion right now. And tomato time. Okay. Onion. Tomatoes. Tomatoes. We're like really getting focused. I like this. <laughs> I love this level. I love that everything's like moving around. What are you what are you doing on this side? Okay, go for it. I messed up. That's okay. You gotta pa you gotta I don't know what you gotta Pass do. Pass your plate. Yes, a plate. Put the plates here, one. Thank you. Two. And I can help you. Oh, Oop. soup's up! Soup up. Nice. Nice, four dollar tip. We're getting better. I'll cut you some onions. Um, wait, onion, we need actually. potato. I mean, tomato. <laughs> I'll take another onion. I can take another onion to finish that one. Okay, I'll chop it up for you. There you go. Nice. Nope, don't, nope, 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 nope. Don't move me. Don't move me. I got the okay. place here. Soup up. Soup up. Stop. There you go. What are you cursing at me? <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> What is that need? Timmy or Tommy need? that's cursing? A tomato. Tomato? Yes. Not a... Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> you, you could have just pressed it <laughs> on the thing for me. Come on. Oh, okay, tomatoes. soup's up. No, not yet. Not yet. No. no I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Gordon Ramsay of raccoons. Oh! Fuck! Oh, round one! Hot soup. Hot soup. I got it. I got it. I'm, I'm on a mad dash. Got I'll it. Give you another one. You ready? Yep. Another one. Oh. Okay. The tomatoes or mushrooms? Mushrooms. Gotcha. Mushrooms. Tomatoes. I'll help you with the tomatoes too. Okay. Whoopee! Whoopee! Oh, something breaking. Something breaking. We need a soup to be done. Oh my gosh! No! No! Take it off the pot. Yep. 
It's a lost cause, it. but we can still get. Oh my gosh. Got one. Got one. Got one. Can you hand me that pot? What just happened with I that? Can't. <laughs> the corner. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. <laughs> Whole double cut. <laughs> Should we double cut it? Yeah. Does it go faster? I think it did. Soup's up. Soup's up. Ding, ding, ding. This is like really intense. I just threw the tomatoes on the floor <laughs> and then put it back in the pot. Ew. Sorry. Somebody's getting some tasted tomato soup. I need a tomato, please. There you go, chef. Sous -chef. Thank you, sous chef. Excuse you? Who's sous chef now? Ah, uh, mushrooms. You can come around and cut them, you know. <laughs> Soup's up! Soup's up, that was that. Why did I put it back? Okay. Come on, we had to have done it. We had to have. 160. Are you kidding me? We did worse. How did we do worse than the last time? We gotta play that again. Yeah. Yeah, we have to redeem ourselves, right? Play it again, or do you want to go to one or more level? Or should we do level? like verses or something? We'll do one round of verses. Let's verse one let's round. Let's verse. All right, so let's go out to the main menu. Let's use our skills that we have not somehow gotten skills yet. Do city. I Timmy like, and Tommy. I think Timmy and Tommy. But who's who is the question? I'll be blue. It's blue. Our colors are that's our me colors, anyways. Yeah. Okay, Mario so colors. <clears throat> This mode is versus mode where we're going head to head, and I think when you have four players, it gets really, really intense. Yeah. So then there's gonna be a lot of the Y button. Yeah, a lot of <laughs> that's our old swear button. <laughs> oh, this is. Oh, this is really tough because you ha you can actually control both. Yes. Which confuses me like you wouldn't believe. Yeah. So burger. Ah. Uh, ah, I still don't get it. Okay. Oh yeah, chop meat. Okay, so I'm gonna let him chop. And then you get this guy to chop. L button uh, switches back and, and forth. And then you grab that, put it there. Um, oopsie. Mio. I just like rest the meat on the thing. <laughs> like, okay, tomato. Wait, that sandwich wasn't supposed to have tomato. Whoops. Do it all over. What do I do if it doesn't? Ah! I'm the worst at this one. Like, really the worst at this one. You beat me last time though, remember? I just gave him the wrong thing. I just, I just put tomatoes in someone's sandwich that did not want tomatoes. Yeah, I'll, 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 I'll admit too that it definitely is tougher doing the... Um... It's confusing. Yeah, I keep pressing the wrong button. Okay. I'm gonna get it this time. This guy's gonna take that. And then I'm gonna take... I like how they have the, uh, just in case you catch fire to everything, they have, uh... And I'm gonna put that there. And that's gonna go down. I literally have to, like, talk myself through this process. It's so confusing. <laughs> Okay. Ah. Oh. Okay. Play me. And then back. I'm terrible. I'm really terrible at this. <laughs> Should really be focusing on cutting stuff here. The key is to like divide your time up and try to figure out like what you should be I guess, doing. Like while somebody's cooking, somebody else could be chopping, but it is really tough to it really control is. both. I, I I'm imagining like it'd be a lot of fun with uh, four player doing this because yeah, I could see that. Oh, is that mine? Yeah, you press. I think you press the. Sorry. Connect button. That's okay. Just. I was like panicking. Cheating. I put tomato in the thing again. What am I doing? I keep thinking this sandwich is for me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like that. Okay. Somebody got their dinner before the other person. Sorry, guy. Totally did not give you what you wanted. Okay. okay. Cut. 
Again, for some reason, I'm making this person cut tomato, even though the first person does not want tomato. Okay, let's see. This goes on here. Okay, put that there. I'm doing really bad at this. This is not good. I'm doing okay. I keep forgetting to like make the meat part of it. Okay. Focus on that job. I keep forgetting okay. that with the holding the um. What do you oh, call it's it? It's not done. I just totally took that off the pan before it's even done. I do that all the time. <laughs> oh. To me, would we not be good in a uh, cooking environment? I think. What do you mean? I'd be giving people wrong stuff all the time. Like in a professional. We'll stick to talking about video games. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I did it. I did it. Wait, that's not right. That's not right at all. I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. I'm so confused. I don't even have a plate. What am I doing? Oh, here's a plate. I'm so bad at this. Okay, here we go. Making that sandwich. Oh, oh I didn't finish cutting it. Do you know how many times I keep trying to put the meat onto the frying pan without without cutting yeah, it? Yeah, I do that all the just time. Just sear straight up steak. What did I just do? <laughs> <sighs> oh my god. This is just the worst. I'm not there. good at this. Okay. Meat's going. We need a bun. Bun down. Lettuce in the bun. That was lettuce. That was tomato. <laughs> Oh, it was ready! <laughs> yeah, I was terrible on that. You definitely won. Yeah. <laughs> Eek! <laughs> so. Wow. That was awesome. That was terrible. <laughs> <laughs> I had a great time. I had a <clears throat> terrible time. So we're going to work on unlocking more <laughs> chefs. And yeah. we're going to have this feature in other Let's Plays, especially once we have four players. We'll have some guests come on our show. And once I get we'll better at it. And once you get better at <laughs> it at it but um if you guys haven't tried it yet go download overcooked today from team 17. also i think i want to say mid-february it is uh having a physical release so there's actually gonna be a physical version so make sure you guys pick that up as well and even though i was frustrated this game really is a lot of fun yeah it it's, is the hardest part i would say definitely is when you're playing having to switch between two people as one player yes. but when you're only controlling one character and having to run through the kitchen that i think is when it's and i love really how the game crazy. advances and gives you all kinds of new different challenges it keeps it fresh yes so uh what do you say we go go to sleep finally <laughs> yes oh my gosh it's been the longest day but the best day ever the best day and thank you guys for joining us yes so um yeah be sure to subscribe and everything and uh help us out on patreon all that good stuff all that good our stuff. brains are a little fried but uh <laughs> we can't even remember what to tell you <laughs> so um as always guys gaming is better together and until next time thanks, thanks for, for watching, watching. Hey, so if you liked that video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the Nintendo Power Couple YouTube channel, and follow us on social media. And if you want to support our channel, be sure to check out our Patreon or grab yourself some NPC merch. So remember guys, gaming is always better together, so until next time, thanks, thanks for, for watching! watching.